guys, this is Patrick. I'm in the uh, Maker Made garage right now, so the Maker Made shop, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about what comes in your kit. So you may have seen uh, this awesome tool in action, moving around, making something pretty neat, and you may have seen the actual components themselves laid out, but I wanna kinda talk to you about how these components come together to create the kit that you see. So when you purchase a kit, it comes in a box just like this, it is compact, but all your components are gonna be in there. So it'll come with your list of instructions, um, resources, locations you can find to see different styles of frames that you can produce, support, and anything like that that you need. Going through what else actually comes in there, we'll start with what we call the brains of the operation, and that's the Arduino and the shield. So it comes in this little box to protect it and then wrapped as well. So these are connected and they're what connect to your computer and then actually drive the motors. Um, you can't see it on the frame here because it's on the back side. That's to protect it from dust and coming in contact with anything else. So next we have our XY motors and they're kind of the star of the operation. So these here, you can see, they go at the top, four, top two corners on the primary uh, post there and they drive the sled up, down, left, and right. They're powered using uh, these XY uh, cords right here, and these actually connect in the back here to the Arduino and to the shield. The motors are then mounted using just these small motor brackets. Next are the drive chains. So these guys connect between the motors to the sled, right? You can see you've got some excess here. The reason we do that is because we want to give you the option to create a frame that's going to suit your needs for what you're trying to build. So the frame you build could actually hold um, and cut on a surface larger than four by eight feet, or it could cut smaller. It's just up to you and what you want, but we give you excess in case you want to do something in larger scale than that. Next we have the Z-axis motor. So the Z-axis motor is what drives that router bit up and down, right? It connects to the Z-axis coupler right here, and that coupler is what actually attaches to the router itself and drives that screw left and right, and that's what drives that router bit up and down. They connect, of course, just like the X and Y motors to a power cord, which goes underneath and connects to the Arduino and the shield on the back side. Next is the ring kit. The ring kit is important because this is what ensures that you're gonna get a really clean cut line. So as your router is moving along the surface, as a sled is moving along the surface, it can, without a system like this in place, get caught and twisted, which can uh, hurt the accuracy of your cuts. So the ring here connects to uh, these carriage brackets, which are right here, and these carriage brackets house what are called the ring bearings. Those can all be found right here. So you can see the ring bearings right here, which are what connect to the ring or to the uh, carriage right here, which connects to the actual ring itself. And that's what allows this to slide around and ensure that it's never gonna bind. Next, we've got L brackets. These L brackets actually connect the ring to the wooden sled itself, just like that, and then connect the Z axis and the coupler uh, to the sled and to the router as well. Right here, we got a ton of different uh, just hardware bags. These are all individually labeled, bag three, bag five, kind of like if you were to get a kit of Legos. Um, it's just gonna be organized and laid out so you know where everything's supposed to go and make sure that all these individual components are connecting properly to the frame. Right here, we've got our AC and DC power connection, and then we've got our USB cable. This is what connects between the Arduino and your computer and drives the, uh, the files to the motors. Last, we have a USB cable, uh, this, or a USB drive. This actually comes with every kit. It's eight gig. It includes all the software you're gonna need uh, to install on your computer, as well as a bunch of free files you can use as projects to get started on your kit. So that's basically it. Look for more videos to come from us soon, and thank you for watching. Oh, 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 oh,